Yo, what's up? This is Casey, and I'm back with a video on my YouTube channel. And this topic is different. It's about sex. It's about oral sex, and it's about sex. I'm going to clear things up on oral sex in this video. Because there's people that are deceived and think oral sex is demonic. It's a demonic ritual. That's what they think. That's what they believe. But I'm going to expose it in this video. Because oral sex is not wrong. Oral sex is a part of making love. It, and I spoke to this with God, you know, a while back ago. And, you know, he's, lead, he's led this into my heart to speak about oral sex, you know. Because oral sex is not demonic, you know. And I'm going to be talking about spirits and sex with spirits and stuff like that. You know, I'm going to be talking about that. Because when you have sex, you're either having sex with God's spirits, the spirits of the kingdom of heaven, or you're having sex with the spirits of the kingdom of hell. Not all sex is bad. Not all sex is bad. The only sex that's right is the sex that God ordained. You have to be ordained to have sex. You have to be ordained in a relationship. If you're not ordained in a relationship of God, then why are you having sex? You're going to have demonic sex because you ain't going to be having any, you know, real love in it. Real love comes from God. You know, you get Christianity, um, religious relationships. That's not even of God. That's demonic sex right there. In religion, that's demonic sex. You both got to be fasting and praying, too, and having a relationship with Jesus, or else it's going to be demonic sex. Because fasting and praying is what keeps you away from Satan. Fasting and prayer is what keeps you drawn away from your flesh and from the devil, you know. So y'all got to keep fasting and praying. Y'all got to keep fasting and praying. But sex ain't nothing but sex with spirits. Oral sex is not demonic. There's nothing demonic about it. It's, it's part of making love. I'm going to talk about what making love is, you know, what what I know God led in my heart, what making love really is, you know, making love can be two different directions, making love can be fake, making love can be phony, fake, not real love, which is sex, which is basically sex, just having sex, that's ain't really making love. You can make love to someone, but not have God. That's fake right there. That's fake right there. That ain't real making love. That ain't real making love right there. You know, you have to have God in order to make love. Or else you have to have a relationship with Jesus first. Or else, why are you even having sex if you ain't even have a deep, intimate relationship with Jesus? That makes no sense. You're going to hell burning in the lake of fire. It makes no sense. So, how? Because, like, real love is you saving each other from hell. You saving each other from hell. Helping each other do the will for each other. Helping save each other from hell. Help help each other have each other's backs. That's part of love right there. Give, have each other's backs when haters come your way. You just speak against the haters. Because when you follow God, when you follow God's purpose and you really follow his will, you're going to have a bunch of haters. If you're in an re ordained relationship, your partner is supposed to fight off those haters for you. That's sexy right there. That's sexy right there. And, you know, oral sex is not demonic. Um, it's not a form of witchcraft. It can be used as a form of witchcraft if you, you know, speak spells on it, you know. I guess, you know, it could be a form of witchcraft if... It, it is a form of witchcraft if you have it, if you do it the wrong way. If you have oral sex and you don't even have God, that's witchcraft right there. If you have sex, period, and you don't even have God, that's witchcraft and sorcery right there. That's against God. That's witch. That's witch like to God right there. It's just common sense. But oral sex, it's just common sense. Like it, everyone wants oral sex. Everyone wants oral sex. But oral sex is only meant for God's chosen elect, who are ordained to have a relationship, an ordained relationship, who are chosen and picked out, handpicked to have an ordained relationship. And I know I'm one of them. I'm one of them because I know a lot about love and stuff like that. Affection. You know, how real love's supposed to be, you know. I'm not stupid, you know. I know I know about real love. How real love's supposed to be. I'm not stupid, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm not stupid about anything, you know, when it comes to this topic. 
So if y'all haters can't stand realness and truth, then you ain't going to get this topic because this topic ain't nothing but realness and truth coming from the kingdom of heaven, coming from heaven's gates, coming from Jesus Christ. Because I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I talked about different types of stuff with Jesus Christ, all different types of stuff with Jesus Christ about my life and about my walk with him. You know, I, I pour out my heart to him about everything. And, you know, sometimes I feel like getting my dick sucked. Sometimes I feel like getting my dick sucked, you know. And oral sex, you know, don't don't act like oral sex is such this wrong thing. Because, like, everyone wants oral sex. Everyone wants oral sex. Everyone does. But the only thing that's wrong about oral sex is if you don't have God, then you're doing witchcraft. If you have sex, period, and don't have God, you have having sex with demons. That's witchcraft right there. And that's just common sense. It's just common sense. Sex with demons is witchcraft, period. Period. I could be set free and have oral sex, and no demons are a part of it. It's just my spirit and my girl's spirit. We all connected with each other, and it's God's spirit attached, you know, whatever beautiful stuff I, you know, we, we say to each other first before we, we got to make love first. We can't just go all of a sudden, pop, oral sex. No, we got to talk down with each other, you know, about say some beautiful stuff for each other, you know, to each other. That's That's real love right there. Real affection and tenderness. That's real love right there, you know. That's real love, you know. It doesn't mean you can't be bold. I never said you couldn't be bold. You can be bold and cuss out your haters. That's sexy right there. That's a turn on right there. Cussing out haters. That's a turn on. That's a turn on. If my ordained wife, whatever, cussed out haters for me, that's. That's sexually pleasing. That's sexually pleasing. You know, I'm not really feeling sexually pleased talking about it right now, but it's, I can see, you know, how, you know, you know, whenever I feel in the mood, it could, you know, I could feel sexually pleased about it. You know, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, being sexually pleased about stuff like that and being pleased sexually about boldness. But when boldness is of the devil, that's like speaking negative stuff about your partner being bold speaking negative stuff about your partner that turns everyone on for some reason that's what turns you on abusive relationships that ain't nothing but an abusive relationship right there that ain't no real love in that relationship it's just a bunch of abusing you know but if i'm bold you know you know speaking bad about my wife which i wouldn't need to speak bad about my wife but if she does something stupid i can speak you know tell her you know rebuke her for it like I guess that's a turn on right there. That's a turn on right there. All she'd have to do is just apologize if she does something really stupid, you know. Like if she fucks up, you know. Because people, we're not perfect. We all we all fall into sin and Satan's traps. Sometimes, you know, we're not perfect. We don't, you know. But it, it's, we, we got to keep fighting. We got to keep fighting back. That's what we got to keep doing. We can't stay in Satan's trap. We got to keep fighting back, repenting for our sins. And it's just common sense, but this is a common sense message. Oral sex is not wrong. It's not demonic. It's not evil spirits you're having sex with as long as you are set free from demons. Any sex is demonic, you know. Every sex is demonic that ain't have Jesus a part of it, you know. It's just common sense. So anyways, peace out, man. This was a good, good message right here of truth. Because, oh, sex with spirits, you know, either having sex with God's spirits, which is the truth, or you having sex with demon spirits, which is lies, you know, which is um some demonic stuff, like some abusive stuff, you know, instead of actually making real love, you know, which is God's side, making real love, you know, being nice and tender, being nice, you know, to your partner. That's all good. That's all good. But, um... You know, being bold, you still can be bold. There's no, just because you're on God's side does not mean boldness is out of it. Because, you know, I know, this is what I know about angels. Angels are bold as fuck. But Christianity, religion makes angels look wimpy as fuck. But angels carry swords. Angels would bust a gun in, in someone's cap for you. An angel would kill for you. An angel would kill for you. If you're on God's side and 
you're on, you're rolling with God, you're rolling with Jesus Christ. An angel would kill for you to protect you. That's what real love and relationships should be is protection like that. That's sexy right there. Protection like that, you know, that's sexy right there. You will protect your partner, man. That's some sexy stuff, too. That's some sexy, hot, hot stuff, you know. Like, let's say there's this, you know, walking in self-defense. That's sexy, too. You know, that's sexy. Your girl walking in self-defense. Your man walking in self-defense. Being bold. See, that's the thing I love about Tiario because he made God look bold. Christianity make God look terrible. Oh, my God. Wimpy as fuck. All they say is God love, God love. But there's no boldness in Christianity. There's a bunch of wimpiness. A bunch of wimpiness. They don't even know what God's love is. God's love is boldness. It's boldness and truth. It's the truth, and truth is bold. Truth hurts, dumbasses. Truth is not lies like they make it out to be. But real love, real love in relationships comes from God, comes from his spirits, and in truth, man. You know, I'm not saying you have sex with God, but you have sex with a spirit of God, you know, which is your or your wife or husband. If y'all are in an ordained relationship of God, a relationship that was meant to work out between y'all, each other, you know, then y'all having each other with whatever spirits attached to you. Like, like the Bible said, y'all become one flesh, y'all become one with each other, y'all become one with each other, y'all become one with each other when you have sex with each other. I'm going to repeat again, y'all become one with each other when y'all have sex with each other, y'all become one flesh, one spirit. Yeah, one with each other, at one with each other, man, at one with each other, you know, when you have sex, you become one with each other, meaning, meaning, if I have sex with my wife, what's sitting inside her is going to be attached to me, and what's sitting inside me is going to be attached to her, that's why I got to have God in my spirit, God in my spirit, I have to have the Holy Spirit in me, because if I have the Holy Spirit in me, it's not going to be no demonic sex. It's not going to be no demonic sex. You know. It's just common sense, you know. But if I have demon, if you have demon spirits in you and you both have sex with each other, you, your relationship, you both ain't got God, you both ain't got Christ, y'all both ain't in his truth. Sex ain't for you. Sex ain't for you. You need to repent for that, having sex. And you you need to get a relationship with Jesus first. And then maybe if you ordained to have a relationship, maybe if you're meant to have a relationship, then God will hand you over one. But people ain't want to wait for shit. People just want to have sex, have sex. And by you just quick quickening your life and just having sex, you have a demonic sex right there. You aren't really talking to your partner, see, talking on a spiritual level, seeing that they have God or Christ. You just automatically have sex with them. That's just some retarded, stupid shit right there. And with that, it, peace out, man. This is Casey. Peace out. Much love. Peace.